just got off my Southwest Airlines flight at Long Beach Airport in California. And I found out that I'm hosting Jimmy Kimmel Live because he, co he had COVID. So, um, yeah, so that's one of the promotions they're running at Southwest right now. So check that out. From Hollywood, it's Jimmy Kimmel Live with guest host Mike Birbiglia. Tonight, Mike Myers, Eliza Schlesinger, Guillermo with the cast of Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, and music from the Black Crows with Cleto and the Cletones. And now, Mike Birbiglia. Oh my God, I just got a FaceTime with my seven-year-old daughter whose advice to me, uh, I guess I was thinking for Jimmy Kimmel, was to pretend everyone in the audience is a dinosaur. Uh, <laughs> so this is such a weird experience for me right now. Uh, I, uh, I am not Jimmy Kimmel. Uh, I'm like a totally different person. Uh, you may have heard Jimmy is out with COVID. Uh, don't worry, he's okay but I'm your substitute teacher for tonight, Mike Birbiglia, or as I'm known in the news. Kimmel announced on Twitter that comedian Mike, uh, uh, Birbiglia, oh, I'm sorry to <laughs> say his name. Thanks to Mike Birbiglia. Now, Mike Birbiglia will take the reins. Comedian Mike Birbiglia Ber will fill in. Comedian Mike Birbiglia. Birbiglia is going to be filling in. Comedian Mike Birbiglia will fill in for late night host Jimmy Kimmel. <laughs> It just rolls off the tongue. I, uh, I am, if you don't know me, I'm just sort of one of those guys that you sort of recognize, but maybe not. Uh, I'm a comedian. I was at, literally at Trader Joe's in Chicago. In, I was in Trader Joe's in uh, Brooklyn where I lived the other day, and this guy comes up to me and he goes, wait, what are you in? And, and I go, I'm in the worst conversation in my life. Uh, <laughs> What are you in? He goes, I'm in that too. I said, you cast me. I was, uh... I, yeah, true story, one time I was uh, in a celebrity golf tournament and I was paired with these two guys to golf and they go, who do you think our celebrity's gonna be? And I go, oh no. Uh, I think it might be me. And then I'm apologizing. Like, I'm really sorry I'm your celebrity. If you think this is disappointing for you, you can't imagine how disappointing it is for me. <laughs> anyway, I was, fly I was flying to Los Angeles uh, yesterday on that Southwest Airlines flight you just saw, and I was gonna be a guest for the Netflix, I'm, I'm here for the Netflix Comedy Festival, and I texted Jimmy. Yeah, very exciting. Which Eliza Schlesinger is in also, late, later in the show. We're talking about that, yeah. Anyway, I text uh, Jimmy, Camel and, and his wife Molly, and who are my friends, and to see if they want to meet up before the show. I go, hey, Jimmy and Molly, it's for Biglia. This is, a hundred, this is the real thing. I'm on JKL, but let me know if you want to hang. Very casual, I'm a casual man. <laughs> Which is true, by the way. I'm a casual, casual person. Uh, Jimmy wrote back, would love to, but Molly tested positive for the dreaded 19. I wrote, oh my, OMG, so sorry, Molly. Rest, 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 soup, repeat. And this is when it started to get a little weird. <laughs> Jimmy said, should I happen to get it, would you be interested in hosting the show tomorrow? <laughs> I'm on a Southwest Airlines flight. Uh, I, I, uh, oh, oh, yeah, uh, absolutely. And a few minutes later, Jimmy said this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> which has got to be a HIPAA violation. Uh, to recap, uh, dinner, no. COVID, yeah. Hosting your talk show, yes. So in 20 minutes, I went, yeah, so that's... Yeah, so I went from Cheesecake Factory to me hosting this show for a week. It's like... Your friend going, can you give me a ride to the airport? And then you, he writes back, can you fly a plane? <laughs> By the way, 
pretty sure I had the best outcome of anyone on that Southwest Airlines flight. <laughs> I guess, guess who's hosting Jimmy Kimmel Live? I think the guy from boarding group C. <laughs> Well, I think we should just check in with Jimmy uh, to see how he's doing. Uh, can we get the feet up? Uh... <laughs> What's up? Jimmy! 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 You gotta turn the music off. Oh, hey, man. What's up? Jimmy, I thought... I thought... Stabbing <laughs> You just take your second pair of sunglasses off your first pair of sunglasses? I, you know, because of the COVID, the doctor told me to wear, t wear two pairs, so. And I, it just seems like you're sort of just having a vacation. Are you sure you have COVID? Oh, no, and this is not a vacation at all. Just I was told to kind of relax and, uh, you know, stay at home, have hey, a Molly, couple. Hey, Molly, it's Molly. Uh, I thought you were sick. <laughs> I thought... Molly was just behind you a second ago. It looked like she was mixing a drink. No, Molly's upstairs in bed. She's very ill. <laughs> All right, well... <laughs> okay, uh, Molly's grabbing the, the vodka behind you. Um, this is... Jimmy, um, I, appreci I, pr I appreciate you having me here. Oh, my gosh. Um... Can you just, I, my masseuse is here. I just have to run and grab the Don't door. do that. No, no, you have COVID. Well, yeah, but he doesn't yet. So I got to go grab that. I'll be right back. Oh, my God. Terrible. Don't do that. That is not, that is not, he's not modeling good behavior, Guillermo. <laughs> no, that's not good to do. <laughs> that's, not, that's not right. When Jimmy asked me to do this, he was like, it'll be funny. Interview the guests, make a few jokes about the news, and then this morning, uh, I made the mistake of reading the news. <laughs> Turns out they're turning Handsmaid's Tale into a reality series. And, no, I know, it's a, it's a crazy time, and uh, I was hoping for something lighter. <laughs> something with a little more pep, you know, like World War III. Uh, <laughs> Or Elon Musk bought the sun, you know, something, <laughs> something fun. Uh, but it's a, it's a dark day for the country, and uh, not to make it about me, but it's a tough day to vaguely resemble Brett Kavanaugh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. oh, I'm gonna get thro stuff thrown at me this week. I, uh, today is... Uh, Teacher Appreciation Day. Any teachers in the audience? Round of applause, all right. Give it up for your teachers. Thank your teachers at home. Uh, I've had so many great teachers in my life. Uh, at St. Mary's School, I remember Mrs. Dumphy, Mrs. Sinkwich, Mrs. Middlesworth. My, Mrs. Middlesworth was my teacher uh, in, in third grade and when I was named Author of the Month. This is real. Uh, and they accidentally left it up for three, mo three months. So I was the author <laughs> of three months. Uh, but I feel very lucky to have had my teachers in my life. Guillermo, are you, are, are, have, you, have you had good teachers in your life? Yeah, my favorite teacher was Miss Gomez. She used to send me to buy cigarettes for her. <laughs> that doesn't seem, that doesn't seem good though, right? I mean... Well, it was good for me. She used to send me, go buy single cigarettes. Yeah, she would give me a dollar and I would buy four or three and I was, was still one for me. I don't... <laughs> I don't, think, I don't think your example is indicative of what a good teacher is. Well, that happened a long time ago. Just go back to the monologue, please. <laughs> <laughs> Guillermo and I have a good rapport. Go back to the monologue, please. <laughs> this is it's an exciting night because Guillermo uh, got to interview the cast of Doctor Strange this week. And if you don't know, these are some of my favorite celebrity interviews because, you know, your typical celebrity interview, they do it, you know, uh, sort of face-to-face -face interview. And what do you do? I do my back-to-back. -back. <laughs> yeah, back-to-back. 
back to back. Yeah. So here's Guillermo back to back with the cast of Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. <laughs> Actually made it, guys. <laughs> I am on back to back with Guillermo. <laughs> <laughs> I like your laugh. <laughs> Thank you very much. I like you laugh too. <laughs> Who's the better Benedict, you or or Cook or Cookenbush? <laughs> Cook How do you say his last name? Well, I think you're saying it perfectly. <laughs> Cucumber Bash, right? <laughs> yeah, Cucumber Bash. Were you like a back scratch? Oh, yeah, come on then. I'm always good for a back scratch. Scratch to the back! Oh, right. oh, right there. Go on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, lower. You don't get this front-to-front front front interview. This is your first interview back-to-back? Back? No, this, I'm back for the second time doing back-to-back. Back. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, we've done it before, definitely. Oh, yeah. Flash to the back! In America, we call it a uh, corn dog. <laughs> Ooh. That's really nice. You're a yeah. doctor, right? I'm a doctor, yeah. yeah. And doctors give shots, right? They, they do, yeah. Should I take a shot right now? Right now? Yeah. I don't have one on me, but yeah, you... you I have one. Them. All right, I'm gonna take a shot, okay? <laughs> Hold on. Doctors, doctors orders, right? I support this message. Shots are good for you. Mm -hmm. But I hear you have to get two shots, right? A booster too, right? Yeah, you gotta get a booster to that shot, definitely. I like to start my own interview with two shots. <laughs> I hear you you had a birthday yesterday. I did, yeah. Did you have a piñata? No, it was kind of lame. I got a piñata for you. Hold on one moment, all right? OK. Oh, Here. my gosh. Look, reach into the box right there. There's a big stick right there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Is there candy in there? Yeah, well, yeah. Listen, use your superpowers. <laughs> you did. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask you a question for the sake of strange questions? Strange questions! Okay, so you're gonna pick up questions. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. Who's the sexiest breakfast cereal mascot? <laughs> what a strange question, right? Strange <laughs> question! I mean, Tony the Tiger, I guess. I guess. And he worked out, he's tough. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Who is your weirdest uncle? What a strange question, right? Strange question. Maybe Val, Uncle Val. Uncle Val? Yeah. Why? What did he do? Um, he was a fighter pilot, and then he was a, a commercial airline pilot. Oh, and... that's kind of weird. Look into the camera. Yeah. Say, You're my weirdest uncle, right there, and tell him. You're my weirdest uncle, Uncle Val. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he's not. <laughs> I hope he's not watching. This. Listen, if I thought he was watching this. I wouldn't have said anything about him being weird. He's not watching. Weird Uncle Val! Do you want to meet a, a multiverse of me? Oh, yes, I would love to. All right, to. hold on. I'll be right back. Hold on. OK. <laughs> OK. Do, do I look like you and, and Mean Girls? <laughs> exactly. Do I look so fat? <laughs> no. You're not fetch at all. No? Stop trying to make fetch happen for yourself. What a mean thing to say. <laughs> have you ever dated a girl with a mustache? <laughs> I probably have. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I'll be right back, okay? Okay, okay. <laughs> That's a much better question. Should I pick that one? If you woke up naked at a carnival, what's the first thing you do? Hi. I am back. Sorry it took forever. Oh, wow. I'm Dr. Guillermo Strange. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> OK, I have a strange question for you. Yeah, go for it. If you wake up naked at a carnival, <laughs> <laughs> what was the first thing you would do? I'd, I'd try and find you and go for shots. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's time for another shot. I think you've had it up. It's time for me to have a shot. Oh, you want a shot? Okay, yeah. here, I'll give you a shot. Cheers, Mr. Cheers, Dr. Guillermo. Dr. Strange. Mm. <laughs> so I look at myself. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Benedict. Keep, keep back. It's close. <laughs>